know what time it is. It's Christmas time in the city as Santa and the Dirty Water TV team celebrate the holiday season in style. Come inside the greatest spa for a night of festive fun as we ring in a new year. I'm Danielle. And I'm Shelby. We, we wish, wish you a happy new year. year. Worldwide, Dirty Water. And I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water. Dirty Water TV. Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm Julia Scaparotti. I'm Jessica Strom. And I'm Zoe Bukavalis. And we are so happy to end the year here at the Dirty Water TV Christmas Party at the Greatest Bar. This party is filled with so much holiday cheer. And so is this show. Here's what we have coming up. We will walk the red carpet with Mark Wahlberg at the Boston premiere of Instant Family. I will take you inside the grand opening of G-Face Med Spa in Wellesley. And Dave Russo takes you backstage of the tradition to benefit the Sports Museum. But first, let's walk the red carpet with Mark Wahlberg for the premiere of Instant Family. Courtney Cox was at the star-studded event, Lucky Courtney. And that's tonight's Big Ticket, brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Tonight, members of the Mark Wahlberg Youth Foundation were treated like instant family as they were treated to an advanced screening of that movie by the man himself, Mark Wahlberg. Wait, wait, Jojo. Bring him in. Tonight, Mark Wahlberg hosted friends and family from the Mark Wahlberg's Youth Foundation for a private advanced screening of his new movie, Instant Family, at a red carpet premiere in Boston. Nothing more... Uh, fulfilling than kind of telling these true stories that inspire people, you know. Um, those are the ones that I have a tendency to gravitate towards. There's so many kids in foster care. And they're having an orientation. Ellie, people who take in foster kids are really special. The kind of people who volunteer when it's not even a holiday. We don't even volunteer on a holiday. I just love telling Sean's story. I think it's absolutely amazing that he would be able to open his heart and his home to three children. And, uh, you know, certainly to be able to help them, but the, the kids have done just as much for them, if not more. It's very fulfilling. So Mark Wahlberg stars alongside Rose Byrne in Instant Family, a movie about a couple who adopts three foster children. Thanks, Daddy. I just got my first daddy. Oh, what the? I suck. I want some of that. Hey, honey, can I help you with anything? As demonstrated by tonight's events, Wahlberg is passionate about helping kids in need, so the story behind Instant Family hit close to home for him. A father of five himself, parenting is something that Wahlberg is quite familiar with. There's so many amazing kids here. To be able to share this movie with them uh, is fantastic. You know, they, they continue to inspire me. They're doing so many great things. And, uh, you know, my brother has been doing absolutely fantastic work with the foundation, especially, you know, uh, kind of trying to battle the ep uh, opioid epidemic. So The Mark Wahlberg Youth Foundation Foundation's mission is to improve the quality of life for inner city youth through a working partnership with local youth organizations. We just encourage them to keep believing in themselves and there isn't anything they can't accomplish. Do you like the Clippers? Oh, I'm more of a Lakers fan. Oh no! You hit me because I like the Clippers! And it is a comedy but a lot of emotion even in the trailer. Uh, for you, what should fans expect? Oh, you're going to laugh and cry and then probably think about adopting three or four children yourself. We're not equipped for any of that. Hi! Just FYI, we can all hear you. Hmm? It's okay. Go mingle with the kitties and uh, don't give it another thought. Bye-bye. She was cool. Lizzie comes with two younger siblings. Three kids? Too much. Oh, oh my God. God. They're adorable. Why would you show us that? That's wrong. You know what? At a movie and at a time like this, you know, especially where families are being pulled apart and, you know, people are going through a lot of hard times. To be able to share this movie is fantastic. What are you doing to my phone? Look at what this boy texted her. Is this that kid, Jacob? Hey, I saw the picture you sent her, Jacob. You're lucky I'll end your life right now, Carrot Top. We're going to call your mom. You're going down today. So what do you think of that, Jacob? My name is not Jacob. What? Okay, okay, okay. The Mark Wahlberg Foundation helps make the dreams of inner city youth become a reality. He certainly made some dreams come true tonight for some lucky fans. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Courtney Cox. That's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, 
Tom Higgs. So call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Ladies, how freaking cute is Marky Mark? Oh, his abs get tighter and tighter every time. I just want to touch them. <laughs> Now, let's talk about a good way to get red carpet ready. I covered my girlfriend Gretchen's new med spa in Wellesley. It's unbelievable. It was a great event, sponsoring and um, benefiting the Miss Pink organization. Very close organization to our hearts, right? Let's check it out. Tonight, a new destination for beauty and self-confidence opens here in Wellesley. We are at G-Face MD's grand opening event where we're celebrating female entrepreneurs and beauty. I know I'm all in. Let's go shine. I've landmarked where I'm going to inject the neurotoxin into our patients. Dr. Gretchen Freeling officially opens the doors to her new practice here in Wellesley tonight at a grand opening celebration that celebrates women and benefits the Miss Pink organization. The Miss Pink organization is a nonprofit which provides tangible support to families impacted by breast cancer and we're grateful to be partnering with Gretchen and this incredible event to bring more awareness to breast cancer and to families that are struggling. Creating natural results through artistic creativity and a patient focused approach, Gretchen appreciates that outward appearance and confidence are intertwined. I am very much less is more. I want the patients to feel comfortable and I want to spend time with them mm -hmm. and give them all the attention they need. Started with my signature lip plumper which mm -hmm. has been a huge hit. In addition to the skincare, I do offer neurotoxin injections, dermal fillers, Kybella, which is a fat dissolving treatment, um, dermaplaning chemical peels, and probably expanding to more stuff. So tonight she introduced her new cutting edge beauty treatments aligned with some of the most female focused, empowered, and confident brands in town. The most special thing about her is really her ability to uh, identify with people empathize with their needs and really uh, give them what they want and her clients come back again and again and again because she is so wonderful at what she does. They say that beauty is skin deep but the truth is beauty really lies from within. Tonight's event showcased the importance of celebrating what makes each one of us uniquely beautiful. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Jessica Strom. Up next, Kayla and Lori hop into the host seats and take you two to TV Garden events. And later, we'll go inside the tradition event at TD Garden to benefit the Sports Museum. Stay tuned, there's more to come from the Dirty Water TV Holiday Party. Just Jay Torres, Dirty Water News, Dirty Water TV, Dirty Water Media, wishing everybody a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and thank you for a great year. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Kayla Harity. And I'm Laurie Kyler Christensen. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We are here at our annual holiday party. It is the best night of the year. And you know what? We hosted one of those amazing events right here at the Greatest Bar. It's the Jack Daniels Small Ball event. It was super epic. It was sponsored by the NBA. Honestly, my, probably my second favorite night of the year. And the Damari Brothers, our own Damari Brothers, hosted one of those events. Let's check out the action. All right. All right. Who gave us these microphones anyways? Hey, we're at the greatest bar for the Jack Daniels Small Ball Challenge. I'm Rich. I'm Danny. We're the Damari brothers. And there's some big prize to be won tonight. Big, big prizes. Yes. Someone has a chance to go to Texas tonight if they win. Let's see who's bringing their skills on the court. The competition was stiff here at the Greatest Bar as hundreds of bar stool athletes came ready to play. And they were all competing for a chance to head down to Charlotte, North Carolina for the NBA All-Star Game, all thanks to Jack Daniels. And they get to go to the All-Star Game with them and a friend. So a full trip All-Star Game via Jack Daniels. So somebody's gonna win tonight, and then you get a chance to go to the All-Star Game. How cool is that? Amazing, and thank you Boston for coming out tonight, and guess what, Jack lives here. The night was celebrated with Jack Daniels drink specials and other basketball focused fun, but the night was all about winning. So let's head down to the courts and see who's in it to win it. We are down to the final two. I'm here with Eric eating his own bar. How are you feeling, buddy? Feeling great. I'm trying to get my mind, my body right for this competition. Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm in a good place right You're now. You're in the zones. Cap, you've been on fire all night. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I got a 1 0 every week. Whatever happened in the past doesn't mean anything. I'm playing a good opponent. I have to capitalize right now. Bill Belichick method. That's how you do it. Let's see who wins. Go! Oh! 
Cap, I hope your schedule is free. You're going to Texas and representing Boston. Yo, I'm excited, man. I've never been to Texas. One of my best friends lives there. I'm going to meet up with him. Shout out to Matt Furman. Shout out to Brett, who introduced me to this event. Uh, that's my man right there. Thank you. Thank you, Jack Daniels, as well. A lot of excitement here at the Greatest Bar tonight. Danny, what action was happening here? Wow, it was crazy, high energy all night, great shots, great contestants, great crowd, just a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, I won the game, so. First time you beat me in a week. <laughs> wow, we had a great time. Let's go have a Jack Daniels because it's our favorite drink. Yes, it is. For Dirty Water Media, I'm Rich Tamari. That looked like so much fun. I would have killed the competition. Really? No, no, no. I'm not very good at the sports. <laughs> Speaking of the sports, we were in the TD Garden area once again for our Absolute Bruins pregame right down the street at McGann's. Kayla, is it true that Absolute is hitting the TD Garden area and giving away Bruins tickets? Yes, and our Bruins expert Josh Dolan was there to check it out. What's going on everybody? It's Josh Dolan for Dirty Water Media. Tonight the Boston Bruins are taking on the Arizona Coyotes across the street from where we are right now at McGann's. We are gonna go inside, party with Absolute Vodka, and we're gonna give two tickets away to unsuspecting fans. So we're gonna go inside, have some fun, and see who really wants to go to the game and sit in the Absolute Lounge. Let's go. McGann's is one of Boston's most historic Irish pubs straight from Doolin, Ireland. With its authentic feel, cheap eats, and good beer, McGann's is the place to be. So what makes McGann's so great for watching the games? So. First of all, I think because we're so close to the garden, you get all that great energy from the people who were here beforehand that are ready to go to the game. But also we have TVs everywhere. There's not a place that you can look in this place without seeing a TV. And we have a huge screen and a huge proje projection. We're quick, we're friendly, and this is a cozy place. And like I said, the people who come in here before the games are hyped up, ready for the energy. So you just take that good energy with you from here to the games and then back after the games. It's very, it's very homey in here. I feel like I'm hanging out in like an, an Irish uncle's basement. Yeah. And it's really close yeah. to the game. So. Tonight, we're partying at Begins with Absolute Vodka to find Boston's best Bruins fans. We awarded two lucky guests with tickets to watch the Bruins game from the Absolute Lounge inside the TD Garden. What's your absolute favorite Bruins moment ever? Ooh, uh, um, first run. Scored the goal against uh, Toronto. Toronto, that's one. Me too, me yeah. too. And now, uh, do do a lot of people stop you and say, Connor, great fight? The couple, actually. Yeah. I've gotten a couple times. <laughs> yeah, so nice. All right, good luck in your next fight and enjoy the game. All right, man, appreciate it. Well, that was an amazing time hanging out here at McGann's before the Bruins game. We were hanging with absolute grapefruit. We gave away two Bruins tickets to two lucky fans. They're over there right now watching the game from the Absolute Lounge. So anytime that you're in town for a Bruins game, Celtics game, it doesn't matter. Maybe there's no game. Just come to McGann's. The food, the atmosphere is amazing and just walking distance from the garden. So next time we give away tickets, make sure you're following Dirty Water Media on all social media platforms so you don't miss the next chance. I'm Josh Dolan for Dirty Water Media. I gotta get over to the game because it's, it's on right now. So see you later. Up next, we hand the microphones over to Kamari Farrar and Amanda Susi for more holiday cheer. That's when Dirty Water TV's holiday celebration returns to the greatest bar. This is Hicks from Hicks Tickets, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Amanda Susi. And I'm Kamari Farrar, and we're enjoying all the holiday cheer here at the greatest bar. It has been a very festive holiday season, including many red carpet events and, of course, fundraising. It sure has, and we had Dirty Water reporter Dave Russo enjoying two sports-focused events right across the street at TD Garden. The first of which was the tradition to benefit the sports museum, where he caught up with many amazing local athletes. Hey guys, it's Russo. I'm inside the Boston Garden here for the Traditions Gala. We are inducting some fine athletes into the Boston Sports Museum this evening. A ticket to the Sports Museum annual The Tradition event gains access to complimentary premium food and beverage during a gallery reception on the TD Garden Arena floor. 
as well as a see at the talk show style awards ceremony. During the ceremony, honorees share career highlights and stories that give fans a glimpse into the lives of these living legends. Then in 2008, here's joined forces with Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen to form a new Big Three. Tonight was no different as the Sports Museum honors Celtics legend Paul Pierce, hockey icon Don Cherry. A legend, a legend in my own mind. You're back in Boston. How you loving it? A legend in my own mind, something like that. <laughs> no, I love it. I'm happy to be here, and Terry's going to introduce me. I'm uh, very honored to be here. I, I never thought I'd ever be here, to tell you the truth. Well, I tell you what, you mentioned that, that Terry O'Reilly's introducing you. Now, you could have picked any one of hundreds of hockey players. I mean, and you went with Terry. We love Terry. Why did you pick Terry? Well, he's sort of like a Boston, eh? I mean, he's got the O'Reilly name, South Boston. Big guy, tough guy. So what are you going to I mean, Who else am I going to pick? you got to have a tough guy if you're going to do in Boston. It is a great honor tonight for me to present him to Don. He was a wonderful coach for the Bruins, and I... That was the uh, best years of my career playing for him. The Sports Museum honors World Cup champ Julie Foley, Red Sox Hall of Famer Jing Lomborg, former New England Patriot and Super Bowl 34 MVP Dion Branch. You know, so many of your contributions to our team. Uh, I just love being your teammate. Uh, you're a great person and a great friend. We've known each other a long time. And I couldn't be prouder of everything that you accomplished, not only on the field, but everything you do off the field, too. So I love you, man. Congrats on a great award, and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. And seven-time NASCAR champion Richard Penny. It's great, you know, coming to the Garden. I'm, I've always seen it on TV and read about it and stuff, <laughs> but being able to come in and see uh, so much history here. Well, I mean, I not, any, not just the history for the United States, you know, sure. Paul Revere and all that stuff, Tea Party. But the big deal is coming and seeing all the sports figures that come through here that were great, that uh, I'm walking in the same territory they are. Hosted by Jackie McMullen and Tom Karen, the night celebrates these legends while raising important funds for the Sports Museum. There you have it, guys. The 17th Annual Sports Museum Tradition Gala right here at the Boston Garden. We got to meet and hang out with some of the champions of New England sports. Man, what a year. Looking forward to next year. I'm Russo reporting for Dirty Water TV. Oh, what an amazing event. And so many legendary athletes all under one roof. It sure was. And another great event that happened was former Boston Bruin Rick Middleton had his number retired right at TD Garden. And guess where they had his after party? Where? You're looking at it right here at the greatest bar, of course. And once again, Dave Russo takes us back in. Number 16, they call him Nifty, Rick Middleton. What an incredible night at the TD Garden. Number 16 being raised to the rafters with all the Bruins greats. And what better way to celebrate after the game than here at the greatest bar. Hundreds of friends and family and fans gathered to see Rick and see the newest legend. The night also includes the prize birthday cake for Rick's 65th later in December. I'm here with Brett Middleton, Rick Middleton, Kevin Childs behind me. Uh, we have, you're not wearing number 16, you're wearing number, he's wearing number 65 right here. Happy birthday, well, almost birthday. Next, next week is next way week. off. What do you think about your dad tonight? Man, he really showed up, like he played a great yes. game. Uh, <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. No, on, a, on a serious note, on a fun note, 11 players in 100 years of Boston Bruins hockey. Are you playing with like five of the guys? I play with five. Unfortunately, I just missed Bobby. The year I got here was the year he left. But yeah, I played with five of the 10 guys up there, and, and I had the time of my life. I mean, you talk to anybody that's a hockey player, I tell you, you know, the dream is to make the NHL, and I live my dream. Part of Rick's dream has nothing to do with playing hockey, but rather coaching hockey. His speech included his heartfelt story of the 2002 gold medal Paralympic team, himself as one of the coaches of that team. He shared the spotlight at the guard with some of those players. This new movie is coming out in 2019 called Tough Sledding and tells this amazing story. Crazy story, love, betrayal, gold medalist champions. Am I missing anything? And drama. Drama. The human element of uh, of being able to do what you dream of doing. I don't I don't know about about guys out there, but I'm gonna tell you right now, 11 player 
in 100 years, retired in the rafters, number 16, nifty Rick Middleton. I'm Dave Russo, here with the family reporting for Dirty Water TV at the Grace, but my Thank pleasure. You. We love you. Rick Middleton, buddy. Nifty! There you go. Up next, we'll wrap things up from the greatest bar. That's right, we'll have some holiday cheer when Dirty Water TV returns. It's Russo. I'm on the road with Tony Orlando and Bruce Springsteen. Did we dig the show tonight? Uh, oh, yeah. fun. Hysterical. I, I, you, you heard it right there. <laughs> the champs right there. I'm Russo. I'm on the road. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, Boston comedian Dave Russo here at The Greatest Bar. And if you want to see some great entertainment, come out and see me live at a comedy club or a venue near you. Such a great time celebrating our holiday party here from none other than the greatest bar. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. We have a saying here at Dirty Water TV. She can maybe over, but the party never ends. On Dirty Water TV. <laughs> Happy New Year. We need to do a blooper reel. It is fresh. Now kiss it for good luck. Oh, oh okay. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> ah. We have a saying here, Matt. And the saying is, the weekend may be over, but the partying never stops. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Jessica Strom. I'm Camille. I'm Sally. <laughs> Good, we'll take that one.